Welcome to your Inspirational Astrology Horoscope for the weekend of October 17th, 18th, and 19th, 2014. I'm Astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. You can now get Astrology MP4 classes at my website, everything from beginning to expert. This is such an awesome series. Check it out at my website, inclusiveastrology.com. And let me tell you, in the middle of eclipses that we've been in, in a Mercury retrograde, and in all this stuff that the energy has especially brought us this week, this weekend could feel like a godsend. I call it the break before the next eclipse. That's what I looked at this astrology horoscope as. Because guess what? Next week, on Thursday, we are going to go through one of the most powerful transformational weeks that we've had in probably the whole year, one of them. And... Uh, this weekend totally is a break. It is so positive, so different than what we've been experiencing and going through. This weekend really is a godsend. That's because the moon in Leo on Friday going to conjunct Jupiter and come into this big grand trine of fire. And this really excites things, really brings a lot of passion and happiness. On top of that, the moon going to make sextiles now over to all this Libra energy. Beauty, harmony, happiness, Mercury and Venus make a conjunction on Friday and that brings positive attitude, positive light, good communication and lots of energy around relationships and positivity. I mean, it can feel like, what happened? Like, I thought I was going through all this stuff in my life and this weird energy this week and then just boom, the universe throws us into this most beautiful weekend. And if you look at the astrology, the Sun and Venus now are getting close and going to follow each other until they make their conjunction next week. So this is a week of some really positive energy, especially around really juicing up relationships and getting to the bottom of them. And I think that over this last week, we had to get to the bottom of a lot of relationship stuff with the North Node and Venus conjunction. We got Mercury, which will be coming close in its retrograde to the North Node. So there's a lot of energy on the sensitive spot in the Zodiac. We're also seeing Venus start to make a sextile to Mars this weekend. So there's a lot of energy really exciting. Also really exciting relationship stuff starting to brew too after kind of going through the deep stuff of really weighing things out and what mirrors you write and so forth. And we're getting ready for all that Scorpio energy because remember the sun comes into Scorpio next week. But Saturday and Sunday we got the moon that will come into Virgo late on Saturday which will really ground things out over the weekend and really push things in reality. And I think you, you're going you're gonna to really enjoy the feeling of you know really looking at all the areas in your life that you can bring more harmony to. Because it's almost like I think we've been weighing out some very specific things. But I think the Virgo energy is going to start to look at things more in depth and, and, and really bring an element of enjoying reality and bringing harmony to it. How can you just bring harmony into your whole life? Now we talked last week about how this is an extreme time with Jupiter and Saturn squaring and the need to make sure in the battle for positivity and darkness, it's like there's moments where you just want to go extreme happy and then it's like, oh my gosh, it's dark, you know, and that's Jupiter and Saturn squaring in fixed signs. We also got Pluto and Uranus, which are making a big, you know, square, which is like this psychological intense battle we're having inside. But this weekend can really bring us into some positivity and some light and see that things are moving along. This is definitely a Mercury retrograde that did not stop things in my opinion. It's still pushing things along. Maybe you just had to redo things. So there's, there's a lot of things moving in our life and you have to see that we're in between eclipses. These are destined karmic times. Every event is happening for a very specific reason. So really take that in this weekend and get ready. Use this weekend to recharge and reconnect with positivity because it is going to be intense this week coming up with the solar eclipse. It is going to be life changing. And these are already our life changing events that have been happening. And especially this year. Geez, talk about a, a year, huh? But this is really exciting. And I don't have any negative things to report to the weekend. I think, sure, the moon in Virgo, sometimes we might get a little bit too analytical about some things, but I think we need to find that happiness and that balance. And the moon does make oppositions to uh, Neptune and Chiron, which is just, you know, 
I think that we're learning to not let these spiritual wounds or any of our sensitivities affect us in a reality. It's time for us to really find a way to find happiness, balance, and maybe have communications with relationships as Mercury and Venus pass, Venus and the Sun get closer. This is all bringing us some really positive mojo in our lives. The card of the weekend is, oh, this is interesting, the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Remember to enjoy the beauty of things. Remember to feel the physical of things. And in many ways, this is a woman by herself. So I think that even though there's a lot around relationships and partnerships, there's a need to remember your own self-worth inside. Maybe connect with nature this weekend. Connect with things. You know, get out a little bit more. Like, explore a little bit. Maybe it's time to disconnect from everything you've been weighing out and going through and just get out there and enjoy life more. And remember the value of what you have right now in your life. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com. If you have any questions or if you want to have a one-on-one reading, thank you so much for all your support, and I will see you on Monday.